Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support Department, and I am on a Mac uh, OS 10.7.4, which is 10.7 um, Macintosh. We're going to do an install on the GXE 7700N sublimation printer with ICC profiles set up. ICC profiles are obtained through a support email to support at condi.com requesting a profile for your DOS sublimation printer and use your model uh, printer uh, in the information and your account information so that we can forward over your profile before you start the setup or call in for help with the setup. If you don't have a um, PartnerNet ID, make sure you get with your account manager about that so that you can log into PartnerNet or they can explain what PartnerNet is and get you all set up. So your account manager handles all your account uh, logins and permissions here at Condi, so make sure you get with them. I'm going to uh, do the install on the, um, actually the configuration settings on the GX7700, the new die sublimation printer here at Condi, using Photoshop 10 elements, and this will apply for other elements versions and how you configure the driver settings with Photoshop and Mac using the 7700 and ICC profiles. So I have already downloaded my profile from condi.com and then support and then logging into PartnerNet and grabbing my driver. If you don't know which operating system you have, click on the Apple at the top left and then click on About This Mac. And it's going to show you your version. Okay? So you want to make sure that you grab the right driver from the PartnerNet site under Support and then log in and then go to Rico and then go to drivers and then go to Mac drivers and find your model printer and your operating system version okay and download it and save it to your desktop where you'll execute and run it it's a driver uh, DMG file and that's your driver software and then you'll have to reboot and at the time of reboot, when your Mac is off, you'll plug your USB cable up and turn it back on. You will find your driver in your system preferences under the print and scan, and you'll see it sitting there under your printer list. You should see a green light if everything is done correctly, your uh, inks are charged, and your USB cable is connected properly, and the the driver is installed correctly. You'll see it. You'll be able to go to your print queue and your options and supplies, do a test print from your uh, nozzle check under utility and uh, opening your printer utility. You can do a test print to see and verify that you are communicating with your Mac and that the driver is um, talking to the to the Mac. Okay? I'm gonna X out of this. Now, in order to configure your settings for this printer, what you have to do is open your digital imaging software. And from there, uh, I'm using the uh, Photoshop Elements 10, and I'm going to click that. It's open. Um, now, let's go back one step. Now, I have installed my ICC profile, so you want to make sure you do it as well before you open the application. I've already installed mine. There's my GX7700 in Ditrans ICM that I would, you would receive by an email or from an email here at Condi from support. And to install it, you just right click on it and you're going to copy. You're going to go to your hard drive. And you can get to it several ways. You can go to your computer, double click on hard drive, click on library, and then find color sync, and then profiles, and then right click and paste the item. And it may ask you for a password, and then OK, and X out. Once you have the profile in that folder, you will be able to open, or you'll need to open your imaging software if you have already opened it, close it and reopen it, otherwise you will not see it. Um, so you want to make sure you uh, close it if you need to and reopen it. And the way you close it, just quit and you don't save. And then reopen it. You 
edit. Now this is elements 10. This setup will work for uh, many of the elements uh, versions. So now what you need to do at this point is create a new file or a new blank file. I like to change my resolution higher as if I'm going to print, but I'm not really going to print, but I do want to emphasize it's important to have a good uh, resol uh, resolution of two or three hundred RGB transparent is what I use. Choose your um, size or create a custom size if you want. You could go um, 8.5 tab 11 tab and then OK. Name your document if you want and then OK. Now you got to put something on the page so that we can get to the print settings. So now you're ready to go to your edit and color settings where you're going to choose always optimize for printing and then click OK. If you haven't selected that, make sure you select it. We're going to go to file and open our print dialog box where we're going to choose our printer and our page size our print size and then uh, from more options you may want to mirror your image here but with the 1074 version of the uh, Mac uh, you can also flip your image permanently on the driver and I'll show you how to do that and if you're one of those people who rather flip it in the application you want to make sure you flip it here and don't select it on the driver if you select it in both places it does a complete turnaround and it will not flip the image. It contradicts the other. So make sure that you choose it only in one place. If you flip it here, you're only flipping it for the one document. And with every document you, thereafter, you would have to flip image. So decide how you want to do it. If you flip it on the driver, it's a permanent setting. It will flip every time. And so to unmirror the image, you would have to come in here and flip it um, so that it contradicts if you were printing the glass like uh, cutting boards or something like that where the image goes on the back. So hopefully that's not too confusing, but if you have any questions about what I'm talking about with mirroring the image, make sure you give us a call at Condi. Now you want to go to your color management settings. And from here, your color handling is always going to be Photoshop Ele Elements manages color. And you want to make sure that your profile is installed at this point because this is where you're going to get it. You want to choose your GXE Dye Trans High Quality version 4A ICM and change your rendering intent to perceptual and click OK. You're done in this box. Now we want to go to our print settings and to do that uh, you want to click print. If you do not see all this information make sure you choose one your printer okay, from your printer field and then choose show details otherwise you won't be able to get to the settings okay so now as a default you're going to see layout we're going to change that to uh, printer configure I'm sorry printer features from here we're going to make sure your feature sets are on a uh, setup and we're not we're going to leave this on color as you can see you only have two choices make sure it's on color or it will print only black and white paper type is plain uh, but we're going to change it to inkjet plain paper and that's okay you're going to see that come up that's okay so click continue it's just changing it from bidirectional to unidirectional because of the print quality that changes with this setting your your resolution is 600 dpi make sure you leave it there if you there's no need to add a higher dpi uh, people ask that question often so it's not necessary your economy color is off and that's the way we want it so leave that off now we're just going to go through some other settings here just to show you what it's about your dithering is on photographic we're going to use error diffusion your color profile is on presentation that's fine uh, photographics fine as well and now we're going to go to adjust color density this is your uh, levels and they're normally by default on five we're going to leave them there as well and then we're going um, um, to printer configuration and um, none of these things here that we change all right and just to move around a little bit we're going to go back to layout I'm sorry not layout but paper handling 
and uh, this is um, a feature you have for um, choosing the, the page order and things like that which we don't use okay so everything by default is selected fine in here your paper feed auto select that's the way I recommend it now you can choose only a bypass tray setting if you want or tray one if you by tradition print to the bypass tray I recommend just setting it up uh, to feed through the bypass tray and then you can come in and select an auto tray select or tray one if you tend to only on occasion print out of or away from the bypass tray so I would choose my default settings to be the way I print on an everyday basis for the most part so I'm going to leave this on a, I'm going to change this to auto tray select okay um let's see cover page nothing to do here back to printer features and uh, color density we did that everything's right here and then set up common color off everything set up correctly and now we're ready to uh, save our setting okay I just like to make sure everything's done alright so we're gonna drop down the presets and we're going to save current setting as preset and we're gonna call it Condi ICC and only for this printer we don't want to change it for any other printer on your system so make sure that's selected click OK and from here you could print if you uh, have a graphic or something up you're ready to print um, I'm not I'm not gonna print I don't need to print but uh, if you're ready to print you would or just cancel out if you cancel out make sure when you do print that you go back in to file print and then choose your printer check your print click your your print box wait for it to open select it but make make sure it opens and then to drop down your presets and choose the Condi ICC once you print it'll save and keep it there on that preset so that's how you make sure you do that now if you're gonna flip your image permanently here make sure you check that box as well and save it with your settings um, you'll see that under the under the layout page so that's important as well if you choose to flip your image here and not in the application by default it'll flip it every time if you save it on your driver that way. So again, this is Vicky with Condi Systems setting up the GX7700, the new Rico printer here at Condi uh, with ICC color management settings in Photoshop Elements and setting up the driver configurations as, as well as the digital imaging configurations for uh, our settings here at Condi Systems. My name is Vicki and as always, thank you for your time.